Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to derive equations for scotch yoke mechanism, position, displacement, velocity and acceleration using analytical method. In this picture shown is a typical scotch yoke mechanism, crank length is R and distance uh, of between the point P on this slider to the uh, center line of this uh, slot is D and crank rotates with an angular velocity of omega and angular acceleration alpha. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations to find position of P, uh, velocity of P and acceleration of point P on this slider. When this angle theta equal to zero, then let us assume this point P on this slider will assume this position P1. So the distance between the O and P1 can be written as R plus D. R is the radius of the crank and D is the uh, distance between this slot and point P. So the total distance is R plus D. So when the crank rotates by an angle theta, then this P1 will come to this position P. Uh, then the position change that is a displacement of point P can be written as X. So this X distance can be uh, calculated by substituting uh, this distance that is D, uh, D plus this distance from here to here will be R cos theta. So component of this R along this direction is R cos theta plus D. So let us write displacement equation here. So R plus D, so this R plus D equal to uh, this R cos theta plus D plus X. So from this equation, X can be written as X equal to R minus R cos theta. So D and D gets cancelled. So this is the equation to find uh, displacement of point P on this slider. To find velocity of point P on this slider, let us differentiate displacement equation with respect to time. So V equal to dx by dt. So differentiation of R with respect to time is zero since R is constant and differentiation of minus R cos theta will become plus R sin theta into d theta by dt. So d theta by dt is omega. So this equation finally it will become V equal to R omega sin theta. So this is the equation to find velocity of point P on this slider. So in this case, if you want to assume this uh, P1 is the extreme position and uh, when uh, slider moves towards left, the velocity is negative, then we can put simply a negative sign in front of this equation. To find acceleration of point P on this slider, we need to differentiate velocity equation with respect to time. So acceleration equal to dv by dt. So differentiation of this uh, term will become r omega and differentiation of sin theta is cos theta into omega and differentiation of omega will become r into d omega by dt into sin theta. So finally this equation will become r into omega square cos theta plus r into alpha sin theta. So d omega by dt is alpha that is ang uh, acceleration, angular acceleration of the crank. So the acceleration of the point P on this slider can be written as A equal to R omega square cos theta plus R alpha sin theta. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.